Hola Taurus Sun, Pisces Moons, welcome to your 2022 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM so we can set that up. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2021 Sun Moon predictions that are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. Lay out the main cards, take a quick look at your 2022. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2022. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. So Taurus, Sun, Pisces, Moons, appreciative of life's sensual pleasures. Your home is your castle and you envelop it in art, beauty, and style. At times, your house is not only a place for family to gather, but a means of artistic expression. This trait doesn't just apply to your abode, but in your manner of dress. Often you will be asked where you got a purchase, your adorning, or will be asked for an opinion about fashion. You're not indulgent, but do like nice things. You have good perceptivity when it comes to people and sense their energy. At times, this can be a bit overwhelming in group settings, even though you are well-liked and popular with the masses. You prefer to be absorbed with your creative thoughts and let your mind wander while you ponder the world to add to your wisdom. Even though you emulate a calm and cool persona, your sensitivity runs deep and you can be easily hurt by thoughtless actions. When this does happen, you take particular offense because you believe in always doing the right thing and are intolerant of injustices. In relationships, you need a partner who provides emotional support and respects your tender feelings. Intimacy is important as a physical connect as is a physical connection. Occasionally when things get a bit too much emotionally, you will withdraw into an inner sanctum or of your mind to sort it all out. So Holy Spirit, angels, divine guys, universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Taurus Sun, Pisces Moons for the year 2022. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages, please. What do you see for it? January, February, March. We have the Ace of Wands and the reversed. What do you see for April, May, June for Taurus, Sun, Pisces, Moons? We have the Page of Swords in the upright. Also, make sure that you did not skip over the intro in there. I described your Sun, Moon combination and how to use these readings to your best benefit. Cherry card is in the upright for July, August, September. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, we end on the Justice card for October, November, and December. Um, so I feel like in the beginning of the year, what's going on is you had something that you were very hyped up about, um, very excited about, very passionate about, but for some reason the air got let out of the tire. So I feel like everything kind of fell flat. Um, it could have been a relationship. It could have been anything, obviously. It could have been an idea that you had invested a lot into and you went to present it to somebody and then it got rejected and you were like, damn, you know? Um, it could have been um, that you started a project of some sort and then what happened is you just weren't into it as much as you were before. You just didn't have the energy to follow through or you decided it wasn't as great of an idea as you thought or you just weren't motivated to continue or what happened you so I think whatever it was it seemed like it had a really good start and then like I said it fell flat or the wind went out of the sails or what have you um, with the Page of Swords in the upright in April, May, June, and it's weird because I don't usually get this in my readings from the Page of Swords, but I'm getting that, well, in, in a way I do because the Page of Swords in the upright is about extracting truth. But I almost feel as though you're, you're um, whatever this was back in January, February, March, you're putting distance so, and, so that you can have objectivity and you're kind of looking at it and trying to figure out what failed. So you're trying to figure out, well, why did it go that way? Um, kind of Kind of curious, kind of picking it apart um, you know turning it over your mind and trying to figure things out for your purposes um, I think that you're trying to do it so that you can have your truth so that you know that you can move on in whatever direction you decide to move on so I feel like this is going to be a period of figuring things out having some introspection and getting the answers that you kind of need in order to move on for Ju July, August, September, this is where you actually do move on. So I think you were successful, um, you know, figuring that out because the chariot card, which is the card of cancer, is you getting your confidence back and really being really determined to kind of go full throttle um, towards whatever you have in mind. So it seems like you have something new 
on your mind that you're deciding to do, you're very fixated on it, very concentrated on it. Um, there's going to be no distractions. There's going to be nothing that's going to be able to stop you from doing this. Um, you've kind of set your sights on it, and you're going to kind of make it, you're going to make it happen for sure. Now, for some of you, you could have set your sights on a new car. Believe it or not, the chariot card is about that. You know, transportation. So, or purchasing transport a new type of transportation. So that could be your goal, and you could kind of um, you know be deciding this is the car I want. This is the price I want to pay, and no, no salesman's going to haggle me out of out of um, what I have in mind. Okay, so just very focused during this period of time. Um, now, <laughs> whenever you got here in July, August, September, whatever you're kind of focused on, I believe you get it because with the um, the Justice card in the upright, which is the card of Libra, I feel as though you get your justice. So, um, you know, whatever you know you really, really wanted, I feel like it ends up being a positive outcome. Things fall into place the way that they should. Um, you know, you concentrated on facts, you concentrated on the truth, and as a result, it's really kind of working out for you. So it looks like the the year ends very well um, with having a very nice balance um it could be a balance between you know business you know business and love and finances or what have you and everything you know is kind of very balanced like the scales are or anything in that regard but i think things are gonna you're gonna have your justice and you're gonna feel very peaceful kind of sitting in that throne there um so that's what i have for you all if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a dm and we can set that up um, otherwise go um, click on the vimeo link below where i'll be pulling these cards on those cards for for a deeper interpretation in addition to a card of advice for 2022 um, check me out on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe or donate otherwise taurus sun pisces moons i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye